Yavuz Setin. I'm, I'm gonna butcher this. I know I'm gonna butcher this. Benimle Akmak Ista Misin. I don't even know if I'm saying this correctly. But anyway, it's a request that's been asked uh, uh, from me for a while uh, to actually react to this artist. And they actually said that he's a pretty insane guitarist to the likes of Jimi Hendrix. Now, if anybody knows, Jimi Hendrix was insane, insane guitarist, right? So that actually caught my fancy, that caught my eye because as you know, I love guitar. Um, it's my favorite instrument, the acoustic specifically, but I love the electric as well. Um, so yeah, man, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. As you know, it's great to form. We're grading all music out of three specific categories, just sound content, obviously vocal ability of the artist, but on the content side, I'm assuming that this is going to be in Turkish because it is a Turkish artist. Um, and if there's no CCs, I'm not going to understand it, right? Um, so I might literally just leave out the, the lyrics side of things until somebody explains to me what they are. Um, but we'll, we, we will grade it on sound. We're actually just gonna grade this on sound and uh, uh, um, vocal ability of the artist, right? So sound being the guitar, how well it's played, and vocal ability of the artist, right? We will drop the lyrics as I see there's no CCs and there's no way of me trying to understand this. So let's see uh, let's, what we got. You guys can also just put the lyrics down at the bottom. But hey, this is more for the instrumentation, I am told. So let's go. Starting with the guitar already. So you got me. kind of sound I love this kind of sound it's got such an authentic feel it's like an authentic 90s type feel when was this actually when was this um, 2009 okay so this is old this is old okay so I'm not entirely sure if the song was made in 2009 or if it just uploaded to YouTube in 2009 but it does have like an old school type feel which I love <laughs> This is cool. I actually really like this. His voice is great. I love his voice. It's got like a bit of a jazzy blues type feel to me. I'm not entirely sure if you guys think. I think more blues in my personal perspective. But it sounds, it sounds awesome. And those instruments, man, you know, you know how those instruments get me, man. Let's go. Hey. I like that. Where are we flipping this up? Let's go. Like, can you hear it in the background? Like, oh wait, wait a second, I'm doing it wrong as well. Benimle uçmak 
is a different language. Like, I don't even care that I don't understand what he is saying because it sounds spectacular. His voice is beautiful. Music speaks to you either way, right? Regardless of what language is it, you can still feel it. You can feel it in the instrumentation. You can feel it in the delivery. That's what's so great about music is that its sound is universal. Music is universal. It's a universal language, right? So I don't need, I would like to know what he is saying, right? But as a first time listener, if I'm going to put this in the background, do I really care? Like, if I'm going to put this in the background, like on a Sunday, right, while I'm cooking lunch or that kind of thing, or while I have family over and this is playing, do I really care? Right? Am I going to, like, really go think deeply? This is going to be amazing to play in the background. It sounds amazing. Let's go, man. If you want to live the high life, put this in the background. I almost feel like this should be on like an LP on a record. You know what I mean? I want to put on the thing and I want to hear that little static rap, that little static crackle in the beginning. And then, and I'm going to pour myself. I'm going to pour myself a glass of uh, um, uh, Jamison Select Reserve. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. It's cheap as well. It's not. It's actually well priced. It's, it's, a, it's a good value for money in whiskey. A little Jamison Select Reserve. Right? And maybe grab myself a cigar. This is so capitalistic anyway. But let me just carry on, right? And puff us some cigars, you know what I mean? And then have some whiskey, you know what I mean? The good old luxury life. Let's go. long guitar solo and you know it's a rule on this channel you I, I, I cannot I cannot it's the cardinal sin on this channel to pause in the middle of a guitar solo right and that was madness <laughs> and it was very hard and hard and hard and as much as I would like to pause it for the copyright story I hope I don't get copyright problems right that guitar solo was absolutely fantastic we don't pause guitar solos in, in this on this channel I did it once before and I was like no! <laughs> and then I was like, okay, no more, no more, we'll never do that again, let's go. Are 
And you know what? It's got a very Jimi Hendrix type feel. If I had to take the vocals out of this and just do the guitar play to the ma a large majority of people, right? And I say, guess the guitarist, right? A lot of people will say, Jimi Hendrix? I know that that might be also the full back guitarist, but when someone's playing a guitar this well, your full back guitarist is going to be Jimi Hendrix, right? That's how well he's playing this guitar. It is absolutely brilliant. Like he's playing this electric. He's tickling, he's plucking those strings really well, you know what I mean? That was insane. The instrumentation on that was absolutely sensational. That guitar, that electric guitar playing, the rips, all of that were absolutely sensational. I told you, if you had to give a layman just that song piece, a lot of people would fall back on Jimi Hendrix. You know what I mean? And the reason I would do that is because it's played well, because if it's played rubbish, people would be like, no, this can't be Jimi Hendrix. But I'm telling you now, play that piece of music and Frank will tell me if, he's, if I'm right or wrong, to any sort of layman and say, guess the guitarist, I, I genuinely think that a lot of people will fall back on the fact that it's Jimi Hendrix if they don't know who uh, Yabu Satin is. All right, I hope I'm saying his name right. That was absolutely incredible. I loved that. And I didn't need, to, like I said, I didn't need to know what the lyrics were. I didn't know. I'm sure the lyrics are absolutely amazing. I'm taking the lyrics out of this one because it's just to be fair, because we don't know what it's saying. You guys can let me know down below. Right, I can also research it, but you guys put it down below, it just makes it more fun, I can interact with you guys. Right, but um, from instrumentation player and his voice, 10-10. 10, 10. 10, 10. we only score inside of 20, so it's full marks, 5 stars. Absolutely loved that, that was great. Um, and if you, whoever is watching this, and if you guys have got other suggestions of this artist, very, very happy to do another reaction to this artist. Anyway, love you all, man. Peace, stay safe, peace, stay healthy. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.